हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर सिक्स ऑन पॉइसन डिस्क्रीट प्रॉबलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन लेक्चर नंबर वन टू फाइव वी हैव डिस्कस इनफ प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन दी पॉइसन प्रॉबलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन लेक्चर नंबर वन टू फाइव ऑन पॉइसन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन आई सजेस्ट यू टू वॉच लेक्चर नंबर वन टू फाइव फर्स्ट एंड देन गो फॉर दिस लेक्चर सो फ्रॉम दिस लेक्चर ऑनवर्ड्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस problems which are asked in gtu exam uh, sessions so we will start with this question and in upcoming lectures we are going to discuss those problems which are asked in gtu examination so we start with this problem the number of monthly breakdowns of a computer is a random variable having poisson distribution with mean 1.8 find the probability that the computer will function for a month without a breakdown and with at least one breakdown so here random variable is number of monthly breakdowns of a computer in a month so first we write down what is random variable under consideration so we denote given random variable by capital x so it is given that capital x is number of monthly breakdowns of a computer or we can write that the number of breakdowns of a computer in a month the number of breakdowns of a computer in a month and it is given that this random variable has mean 1.8 that means average number of breakdowns of a computer in a month is 1.8 okay given that mean of x is 1.8 and it is also given that x is a random variable having poisson distribution and we uh, denote mean of poisson random variable by lambda some authors are using mu also so either lambda or mu both notations are valid so given that mean of x is 1.8 that means value of lambda is 1.8 so and random variable is number of breakdowns of a computer in a month so if mean is 1.8 that means average number of breakdowns of a computer in a month is 1.8 1.8 is nothing but average number of monthly breakdowns or breakdowns of a computer in a month average number of monthly breakdowns of a computer or average number of breakdowns of a computer in a month is 1.8 now here it is already mentioned that this random variable follows a poisson distribution so uh, we know that the probability mass function of poisson poisson random variable is given by probability that capital x equal to small x equal to e raised to minus lambda lambda to the power x divided by x factorial x has possible values 0 1 2 and so on there is no upper bound in this uh, pmf for poisson random variable so here this probability gives us the probability of x breakdowns of a computer in a month so using this probability mass function we can find out given uh, required probabilities so in first part a Uh, we are asked to find that probability that computer will function for a month without a breakdown that means there will be a uh, there will be no breakdown of a computer in a month we are asked to find the probability that computer will function for a month without a breakdown that means number of breakdowns of a computer in a month are zero so that means we have to find out this probability for small x equal to 0 okay our uh, event required probability is of the event that the computer this is the required probability 
computer will function for a month computer will function for a month without breakdown so this is equivalent to the event that there will be zero breakdowns of a computer in a month that is equivalent to capital x equal to zero so we calculate this probability by taking x equal to zero on this uh, formula so we have e raised to minus lambda and of course here lambda is 1.8 okay, so first we can put lambda equal to 1.8 okay, this this is this is equal to value of lambda is 1.8 so i have e raised to minus 1.8 1.8 to the power x divided by x factorial and x can take values starting from 0 1 2 and so on so now we calculate this probability for x equal to 0 so we have e raised to minus 1.8 1 1.8 1 .8 raised to 0 divided by 0 factorial uh, we have taken x equal to 0 here so e raised to minus 1.8 1 1.8 1 .8 to the power 0 divided by 0 factorial now 0 factorial is 1 this is also 1 so we have e to the power minus 1.8 and if you use a scientific calculator you will have this value is 0.1653 up to 4 decimal places so this is the probability that computer will function for a month without breakdown so 0.1653 is the probability that computer will function for a month without breakdown now we come towards second part or part b in part b we are asked to find the probability that computer will function probability that computer will function for a month with at least one breakdown at least one breakdown means there may be one breakdowns two breakdowns three breakdowns and so on so we find out this probability also using that formula for pmf first we write down required probability is uh, that computer will function for a month they have asked to find out this probability computer will function for a month okay i am writing from the question only okay, find the probability that computer will function for a month with at least one breakdown with at least one breakdown So this is equivalent to the fact that number of breakdowns of a computer in a month is at least one. So this we can represent in this way probability that capital X is one or it can take values greater than one. Now if we go in this way then we have to calculate this type of probabilities starting from one x equal to one x equal to two x equal to 3 and there is no upper bound so we cannot go in this way so for that we will use the concept of complementary events okay so if we consider this event x is greater than or equal to 1 and if we consider x is strictly less than 1 uh, this means computer will function with at least one breakdown this means computer will function with zero breakdown x is less than one is equivalent to x is less than or equal to zero so these two are complementary events okay, using the concept of complementary events okay, these two are complementary events therefore sum of their probabilities must be one so this i can rewrite as one minus probability that x is less than 1 because these two events are complementary events sum of their probabilities is 1 
therefore this event is 1 minus probability of its complementary event now this x is a poisson random variable that means it is a discrete random variable so possible value of x is 0 so now uh, we have this value probability of x equal to 0 that we have already calculated in part a it is 0.1653 so we substitute directly here from part a and if we take subtraction we have 0.8347 so this is the probability that computer will function for a month with at least one breakdown the probability that computer will function for a month with at least one breakdown is 0.8347 so this is very easy problem you have you have already given that your random variable follows a poisson distribution with mean 1.8 so you can do this problem if you are familiar with the probability mass function of poisson distribution okay you just have to remember this probability mass function and here lambda is 1.8 so we put lambda equal to 1.8 and then we calculate required probabilities okay, so this is all about this session i hope you like it thank you very much